It's hard to imagine many other places in the world that are more remote than this. Welcome to Unalakleet, Alaska. Have a look at that backdrop behind me, those mountains, that sea, it's the Bering Sea. We've taken a one and a half hour commercial flight from Anchorage north and we've landed here. That cluster of buildings that you can see, that's the village of Unalakleet, a population of about 800 people. There's a post office there, there's a bakery, and there's a school as well with about 800 students aged from three years old to about 18. This is one of the checkpoints of the Iditarod dog sled race and they'll be coming through here very soon. Now you may notice that I'm pretty rugged up. I've got a big coat on, earmuffs and the gloves. But the people around here, the locals, they're walking around in t-shirts. They say this is warm. The temperature is around freezing, around zero degrees Celsius, and that's not good for the Iditarod dog sled race. Their dogs like it better when it's below zero. And that's what they've usually been training in and they just run cooler and, and like your car if the temperatures are too hot. And so it works the dogs a lot harder when the trail gets mushy. So this area here is the checkpoint for the Iditarod. They're just starting to clean it up. You can see the guy in the bulldozer starting to plow away the snow. The mushers and their dogs will come in over the mountains there. The dogs will probably stay down on the river there, which is frozen at the moment. And in these nearby buildings, that's where all the official part goes on. There'll be dog feed setups. There'll be officials checking the dogs as well. There'll be veterinarians, there'll be the paperwork, and then they'll move on to the next checkpoint. At the moment, the leaders of the pack are due to arrive here around Sunday or Monday. And when they come through, this town comes alive. The village people, they come out, the kids, they're very excited. They come through and they cheer on all the dog sledders for this, what they call the last great race on earth. 